Welcome back to Miami for day two of the US uh, 52 Super Series here, the US Championship. <laughs> Start again, okay. Day two of the US 52 Super Series here. We go uh, onto the water with uh, 14 to 17 knots of wind uh, forecast. We should get three races in, quantum racing go in the water with a lead of just one point. Dean Barker spoke to us earlier about his experiences racing the uh, America's Cup multi-hulls and he's on the helm of Interlodge again today. The big difference with this is just yeah, just the speed and adrenaline. Uh, with the multi-hull sailing you're on the edge a lot of the time and the boats just are incredibly fast and you know, I think the sensation is very very different so you know, with obviously the multi-hulls with a big push into foiling and um, you, you know very much apparent wind driven boats um, versus you know yeah, the 52, which is, is a high performance monohull, but you know, it, it's sort of you know, quite a different path. So, with the, uh, Jerry Pepini, then the uh, coach for the run racing team, Jerry, how are the conditions looking? Uh, today's uh, conditions looking uh, much better than yesterday in terms of uh, wind speed. Uh, we, we are around uh, 15 knots, uh, 12 to 18 knots, maybe in the afternoon, uh, building up to 20. We, we hope to have a very nice show. So race number three completed here in Miami. Azura won the race reasonably comfortably uh, ahead of uh, Quantum Racing. And so in the overall standings, it is Azura ahead, but only by uh, virtue of count back. Azura made the start they wanted. Everybody really uh, felt the right was the strongest. Azura got there first and managed to control that early on. Quantum were uh, fourth at the, uh, the top mark behind uh, Interlodge and uh, Vesper. Uh, but Quantum made a steady comeback. They made a good uh, jibe set at the top mark good uh, pace downwind and they managed to get back into the mix on the on the first beat or sorry second beat they made a nice uh, called a nice shift on the left side of the track and that got them up to second uh, on the final downwind so they were second and a very close finish then between uh, Interlodge and Ran with Interlodge only just getting it so as I say overall the standings uh, are in, still in favour of Azura but great racing today in Miami and hopefully we'll see some more breeze in the following days. We did go onto the water expecting to get three races in but unfortunately just the one. A front is advancing in at, uh, at pace and that's going to bring some uh, thunderstorms and strong winds so we were called in uh, off the water after that race. I mean, we have somebody that is responsible for that and we need to, to trust uh, them. Imagine that uh, something happened because they didn't cancel. We were expecting about 70 knots at 3.30 and then we, we decided that it was not, we didn't have enough time to run a second race and we decided to send them ashore. 